Last but not least in this chapter, we're going to look at editing polylines and splines. And we're staying in the same view that we've got already on the screen. You're zoomed in on that bottom left area of the floor plan. Make sure that your draw panel here is also expanded out and pinned open because you will need some of the commands on the pinned out area of the draw panel. Now, you'll remember that we've got our polyline and we've brought it back in here like so. And we've also got our setting out points. This setting out point isn't needed. It can be deleted. And this line here can also be deleted as well. What we're going to do there is make sure that we're on this layer here. So we go up to make current and we select this line here just to make sure that we're on the appropriate layer. We're then going to go to the draw panel and what we're going to do is we're going to select this command here, a spline fit. Click on it and we'll use the node snap as the start point. Click there and just create a curved visibility wall doing something like that to there and then press enter to finish. Your wall will look slightly different to mine. It's not exact, and I'm not worried about it being exact at the moment either. The good thing is you can just select that spline and you can edit it using the grips, like so. I drag the grips and move them around and I can change the shape of the visibility wall. The other benefit I have is I can go here, click on the down arrow, and I can change it to a control vertices spline and I can change it by clicking on these control vertexes here, like that. Click on that one, and I can change the shape of it entirely, like so. I can then change it back to a fit spline, like so, and we've got the grips back as well. So it's a really useful feature to allow you to edit those splines quickly and easily. Now, something else you might want to do is edit a polyline by adding vertices to a polyline. So just roll back one notch on the wheel and select the area boundary that we created. As you can see, that's got lots and lots of grips and vertices. Make sure, though, that your spline isn't selected as well. Hold down Shift and just click on it to deselect it from the selection set. Now, what you'll notice here, can you see we've got a midpoint grip there? And if I hover over that, I can stretch it. I can add a vertex or I can convert to arc. Let's go to convert to arc on that menu for a moment. And you can see there, if I use my polar tracking and drag out to the left and click, it actually forms an arc as part of the closed polyline. If I hover again over that midpoint grip and go back to convert to line, it drops back to where it was before. I can also just hover simply there and I can add a vertex. If I click on add vertex, I can pick a point along the line where I want the vertex to be. If I just click there on the polar tracking, there's my new vertex there. You'll notice, and I can click on it like so, but I've also now got a new midpoint vertex there and a midpoint vertex there because we've got two line segments in the polyline where there used to be one because I've added that new vertex there. Zoom in on one of the conference rooms now. We're going to use the one with the fillets on the curved corners. Now, it may be that you want to convert some objects to a polyline as well. Select your conference room table like that. Now, make sure you've got nothing else selected as well. So just make sure that you hit escape. I can see that our outer polyline is still selected. So just hit escape a couple of times and select only the conference room table like that. You can see the grips on it. You can see it's a closed polyline. Go up to the Modify panel and click on Explode. As soon as you do that now, can you see it's made up of its individual lines and arcs? But you may want to convert it back to a polyline. So you want to use the Polyline Edit command. The quickest way to get the Polyline Edit command running is just type PE for Polyline Edit and press Enter. It will now ask you to select a polyline. Just select either an arc or a line, doesn't matter which one, and it will say, do you want to turn it into one? What you're doing there is you're turning that individual line segment into an individual polyline. So say yes to that and press enter, accept the Y for yes there, and then you go into the polyline edit commands, all the different sub commands, and you want to utilize join. And you want to select every object that is going to form your polyline. Now, you can do this with an open or closed polyline. doesn't matter which. But make sure that you select everything, including the original line segment. You just press Enter to finish it. 
and then enter again to close the command and you're back now to a closed polyline again as you can see there so it's very quick and easy to use the polyline edit command to bring a polyline back like we've just done or perhaps create a group of objects and then convert them to a polyline using polyline edit as well just quickly zoom extents now double click on the wheel and just unpin your draw panel just a little bit of housekeeping there and maybe just use a little bit of panning to centralize the drawing so what you've done there using this particular drawing is go through lots of different modify commands that allows you to modify lots of different objects in your drawing and as you can see, you can create a really effective drawing using all those modify commands in AutoCAD.